Gary Lynch. Hello, Dutch and James in the 70s after leaving All South Wrestling. Dutch wrestled Georgia Championship Wrestling as Wayne Cowan. Where would you get a name like Wayne Cowan from? And Gino Hernandez came in as a rookie for a brief period of time. Also, Tully Blanchard would wrestle here for a brief of time, he writes, in his rookie year as well. I remember Dutch wrestling Tully in my hometown around 1977. Does Dutch remember anything about Tully or Gino in their rookie years? Where was this guy? Where's he from? Uh, he doesn't say, does he? No, All South Wrestling. I don't even know where that is. Is it like All Texas South, way? It, it, Georgia, I think. Okay. And Mid-South was Louisiana and Oklahoma. I met him. I met I, I met G, uh, Gino in Florida. Probably my first run here, I think. Now, I didn't know anything about him other than he was from Houston. And then he went back and became a a big star in, in Texas wrestling. And there was a, there was a rumor about him that who was the promoter of, of Houston? What Paul was his Bosch, name? The, his, he Paul was the Bosch. dad. There was a story about Gino that Paul Bosch was his dad. I've checked that out and I can't find anything like that, but, But he was kind of crazy in Florida and then went to... Have you ever read up on Gino? Bits and bobs. He died very young and there were theories going around that he was murdered at one point, I think. Well, I think he got involved somehow. Remember my, remember my line, never let facts get in the way of a good story? Mm -hmm. This is what I heard. I heard he got involved in... Uh, some drug deals, some drug traffic king, I guess you would call it. And he was always very paranoid. Not when I first met him, because he was just drinking then. But later on, he was very paranoid about looking out windows and, you know, doors. And he was always looking around. But I don't know where he died, but I think he died in an apartment in Houston, I think. And he'd been dead a couple of days before they found him. Hmm. And it says that they couldn't find any foul play and said he died of a drug overdose, which he was on. He was doing drugs then, I heard. So, but any stories about Gino other than that, I don't know a lot of stories about him. Tully was a football player. And uh, he was out of Texas too kind of around the San Antonio area. And his dad was a promoter and he got started. And finally he went back to, I think San Antonio, probably after 75, I don't have a year on it, but they had a pretty successful territory out there for a while. Uh, they, they did well. Ricky Morton was out there and I, I went out there for like three weeks one time just to check it out and then went back to Memphis. So, but wasn't a bad territory. It was easy to work. So, Tully was, the Tully stories go, come into, into, into motion when he was in mid Atlantic. And he got so, I heard, this is again, don't let facts get in the way of a good story. I don't know, but I think he got so on into drugs that it was almost you couldn't work with him. And then, glory to God, he got religion and turned into an evangelist. <laughs> 